Hello everybody. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you a phenomenon that is referred to as St. Elmo's Fire. So St. Elmo's Fire is basically ionized air. It's plasma. Uh, it's usually visible during lightning storms um, where around the lightning rods if there's a charged cloud above uh, you might see this kind of purpley haze sparks appear above the lightning rod and basically that actually helps prevent lightning strikes because that ionized air will actually go up to the cloud and help neutralize it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the the same ion motor that I used before but this time we're just looking at the needle tip. So it's plugged in and I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pick um, the, the negative pick that I showed you guys in the previous video and bring it near the positively charged needle point here. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the light and as I bring the pick closer to the tip of the needle you should see kind of a small glow. It's going to kind of like look like a star on the, uh, on the video and as I bring this in a little bit closer, you can see a little purple, kind of looks like a purple flame coming off of the needle tip. That is St. Elmo's fire. So that is ionized there, um, simply coming from the needle tip or around the needle tip and traveling towards the, uh, the negative um, pick. So basically the longer stream of air that you're seeing is positively charged. You might see a slightly smaller stream coming from the pick. That's going to be negatively charged air, and they're attracted towards each other. Now, if I do bring this too close, that's when you'll see a spark. Um, and this phenomenon here is just the ionized air that's become a plasma, and you can see it traveling from the pick to, um, to the needle tip. Okay, so I just wanted to demonstrate that. I uh, hope you found that interesting, and until next time.